My name is Robert T. Benhammer. I am a professor of genetic cell biology and anatomy. Uh, I just finished my 56th year. I'm going to retire, plan to do exactly what I did this last year and the years previous, except <clears throat> not being paid by the department. They're going to pay my parking. It's incredibly generous. Um, he's a very hard worker. Um, he's an excellent teacher. And the fact that he's going to be doing just about everything he's done before for free is, is quite generous. Crest of the ilium right here. Okay. Dad. You don't see the behind the scenes stuff that he spends an enormous, an enormous amount of time preparing specimens, doing work to make the course work well. And I think that's, that's further documentation of his dedication to um, the students and the education program we have here. Why did you choose anatomy? Well, I hadn't planned very much about going to college. I, it was kind of last minute. Tie it off. And I think I did the same thing with graduate school. I had applied to some graduate schools and hadn't heard much from any of them and hadn't gotten any assistantships. When a anatomist from Galveston, Texas came to the college, he was an alumnus of the college, looking for graduate students. And the biology professor says, well, you better talk to Ben Ammer. He doesn't know what he's going to do. I thought it was just hard as hell. I mean, I had to work like everything. And the professor of anatomy that was doing gross anatomy was just unbelievably difficult. He was a um, short man with absolutely bald head, and he <clears throat> had a pet mountain lion. And once in a while, he would come to class, and there would be claw marks across the top of his skull. He'd been playing with the mountain lion. <laughs> it got a little too rough. Well, we all hear about the the been hammered um, because of his uh, approach to um, challenging the students. I've been hammered. 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 He's very well known for 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 intimidating students and and challenging them. Um, but I think it's it's been to um, their improvement and their their learning process. So I remember one time uh, early on where he said, you've got 50,000 things, facts that you need to memorize in this year. And the great grandmasters of chess know a certain number of moves. And it was a very similar number. So you're sitting there going, oh, crap. I took a course with him and happened to be the only student signed up for the course. So it was just me and him in the lab for an entire summer. I thought I had prepared the dissection before he showed up, yeah. and I learned how much I didn't do once he arrived. He came in and criticized my dissection and asked me a whole bunch of questions I didn't know the answers to. And I walked away very humbled and very excited, thinking this is going to be fantastic. Once you get to know him, he's very caring, very thoughtful and considerate of the students. I wish more students would go and talk to him if they had problems or concerns or just sit down and chat with him. As they enter, they are terrible problem solvers. They uh, can't take something from there and there and there and synthesize it together and come up with a solution. They're just not any good at that at all. And so to start to see that happen and recognize that by the time they're third year students they're doing it fairly skillfully in almost all of them, that's heartening. Dad, I'm, I'm stuck.
stopping above the... I want to keep doing what I'm doing until, well, whatever. I mean, if I can't remember the names of anatomy structures, I guess I'll have to quit. <laughs> what does it mean to you that Bob's going to work free? I, it's just such a statement to his character. It's not at all surprising. It's what I... It's just the kind of person that he is, that he would say, this department has given to me so much and I'm ready to give back. And to open up that salary to recruit additional anatomists to come and teach, it's, it's such a wonderful and humbling thing. I've been hammered. I've been hammered. I've been hammered. I've been hammered. I'm Dr. Bill Thorell, and I've been been hammered. I'm Dr. Seibert from Omaha, and I've been hammered. I've been been hammered. I've 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 been hammered.